Now, dividing complex numbers is going to feel super familiar to you. We're going to use our conjugate, just like we did with thirds, and it's essentially the same process. So here's our question. We have two complex numbers, and we're dividing one by the other. Don't worry about all this stuff. We'll talk about that in just a second. Okay, so we have z divided by w equals 3 plus i divided by 2 minus i. Okay, technically you might say we've done it. This divided by this is equal to this divided by this. Finish. That's why the question is worded as express this in the form x plus yi. Now, x, just a number, yi, just a number. So express it as a complex number the way that we normally express complex numbers. That's what it says. Okay, same process as when we were rationalizing denominators with thirds. We're going to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. So multiply top and bottom by 2 plus i. Okay, now I'm going to write that out because I don't want to make a mistake here. So I'm going to write 2 minus i times 2 plus i and 3 plus i times 2 plus i. Now, to me, the denominator on these is always easier than the numerator. They're very predictable. You know what's going to happen. It's this times this. So, 2 squared, which is 4. And then uh, this times this. Negative i times positive i. That gives me negative i squared. i squared is negative 1, so negative negative 1 is positive 1. So, in other words, my denominator... I'm going to write it down here. My denominator is just 5. Okay, now what about the top? 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times i is 3i. i times 2 is 2i. And i times i is i squared, which is negative 1. 6 minus 1, so now I'm grouping like terms, right? 6 minus 1 is 5. And 3i plus 2i is 5i. Okay, it feels like we're finished, but again, the question says, express z on w in the form x plus yi. So, we just need to finish this off by writing it as two separate terms. So, writing it as 5 over 5 plus 5i over 5. And again, I'm working across the thing, but that's just because I haven't got space. You should be working down. 5 over 5 is 1, and 5i over 5 is i. So, 3 plus i divided by 2 minus i can be expressed as the complex number 1 plus i. Now, if you think you've got that nailed, you can stop the video here and run away and start doing some questions. If you want to see me do one more example, that's what I'm going to do. So here we go with example two. We have two different complex numbers this time, but we're still dividing them by each other. That's the whole video is about. All right, so we have z over w equals z, which is four plus i, over w, which is three minus two i. Okay, so we find the conjugate of the denominator. So this is the denominator. We multiply by the conjugate top and bottom. So multiply by 3 plus 2i over 3 plus 2i. Okay, now I really like to write the whole thing out because I don't want to make a mistake. So 3 minus 2i times 3 plus 2i on the bottom and 4 plus i times 3 plus 2i on the top. Now, I always do the denominator first because the denominator is the easiest bit. So, uh, 3 times 3 is 9. Negative 2 times, negative 2i times 2i is negative 4i squared, which is negative 4 times negative 1, which is positive 4. We always, we always know this, that it's going to be this squared plus this squared. Uh, so, 9 plus 4. Okay, the top is the heart. Oh, well, let's, let's write one more line. 9 plus 4 is 13. Okay, numerator. Uh, 4 times 3 is 12. Um, 4 times 2i is 8i. 
i times 3 is 3i, and i times 2i is 2i squared, negative 2i. Uh, negative 2, not negative 2. So let me try again. i times 2i is 2i squared, which is 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2. Okay, 12 minus 2 is 10, and 8i plus 3i is 11. I. Okay, you might think you're finished, but you're not finished because you've got to get it into this form here, x plus yi. So, split it up. 10 over 13 plus 11i over 13. It's ugly, but that's the answer. I'm finished because I can't simplify that. It's not like the previous example where I just ended up with 1 and 1. 10 over 13, that's as simple as we get. Don't try to turn it into a decimal. Don't do something like that. Keep it as a fraction. The answer is 10 over 13, that's the value of x, and 11 over 13, that's the value of y, 11 over 13i. All right, uh, that is dividing complex numbers using conjugates.